I-220, many use it as a thoroughway to get from north to south Jackson quickly. Well, for some, that drive may be convenient, but for others, it may be dangerous. Well, WJTV's Candace Cole hit I-220 for a special investigation. She joins us now in the studio. And, Dan, uh, and uh, Candace, what did you learn about the I-220? Something that we travel all the time. Right, we do travel it all the time in Melanie and Byron. As you can see behind me, I-220, right now we're looking at I-220 on um, Ann Watkins Drive. Um, it's one of Mississippi's highways with the fastest posted speed limit in the state at 70 miles per hour. Now we wanted to find out just how dangerous this road could be, so we got behind the wheel and behind a camera. At any time on any given day, motorists with a need for speed are known to take to I-220 as if driving on the German Audubon, sometimes reaching speeds up to 30 miles over the speed limit and higher. Just today, uh, one of my officers, Officer Felder, stopped a vehicle 101 in the 70 mile zone. Making some commuters weary of taking the connector between I-55 and I-20. It's kind of a dangerous, I've been on it several times and it's not good. While others say it's just the same as traveling on any other highway. How do you feel when you get behind the wheel and you have to go on 220? I actually feel pretty safe. I don't really feel scared or anything. I'm kind of used to the fast pace. Um, I think it's worse in Memphis. <laughs> so the 220 is not that bad. I-220 is one of Mississippi's highways with the highest speed limit, 70 miles per hour. So far this year, JPD's Special Operations Unit has issued 52 speeding tickets on I-220. However, on other interstates, those numbers are doubled, 111 on I-20 and 132 for I-55. For some, high speeds mixed with defensive driving tactics and narrow bends on the interstate make for a harrowing commute. Since the first of the year, MDOT has issued 16 accident alerts for I-220, one of them a fatality. Here we are, we're driving on 220, trying to see, you know, just how dangerous it can be out here. Sometimes you'll have a lot of cars that will get over into the left lane and go really slowly, then you'll have people going the speed limit, which is 70, up to, you know, maybe 10, 20 miles over. 220 carries a large volume of traffic, especially during rush hour. And, uh, you know, we have, do have accidents there, but our problem in Jackson had been people driving too slow. It's actually been the speeders who've caused the problem here in our, in our jurisdictions. The other culprit, Lieutenant Robinson says, is distracted driving. Texting while driving and accessing social media behind the wheel. Legislation is now on the table to ban texting while driving in Mississippi, currently waiting to pass to law. Lieutenant Robinson and his officers are doing everything they can to keep drivers safe. We're doing selective enforcements around our interstate system, high visibility, uh, 220, I-20, I-55. So we're doing a lot of work in that area. You know, we look at the at the numbers for the accidents with injuries and fatalities, and we find that they're going down. According to statistics from CityData.com, fatal crashes hit their peak on 220 in 2002 and 2003 with a total of 12 deaths. That's compared to the most recent numbers. Last year, two people died in crashes, according to JPD. Still, Lieutenant Robinson urges motorists to stay within the speed limit, as JPD has a zero tolerance for reckless driving. Going in excess of 100 miles an hour, you'll probably get a ticket and be arrested and your vehicle will be towed. And the legislature is also considering a bill that would raise the speed limit from 70 to 75 on some four-lane interstates in Mississippi. However, lawma lawmakers doubt that will include I-220. Reporting live in the studio, Candace Cole, WJTV News, Channel 12.